Hello, my name is Mike Johnson, and this video is filmed in April 2020 of this 2014 Forest River Georgetown 351 Bunkhouse Motorhome. It has a full size refrigerator, uh, like a residential in your kitchen refrigerator, and it has onboard solar power plant on the roof. Has a decent size uh, solar panel up there to produce electricity to support the refrigerator uh, for off-grid use or dry camping. They call it boondocking. Some people call it. But this is a nice, clean, not fixed up, clean, but well taken care of motorhome. Was uh, registered in Colorado. Uh, I've had quite a few of these Georgetown 351s and uh, uh, the similar Coachman Maradas and FR3s. And I'm telling you about this one. It's a video tour of this specific one, but uh, it's actually a great model. It has mega storage in the basement, has a great modern uh, aggressive look to it. So it doesn't look dated, it looks modern. Up on the main awning, it's a power electric awning, a one piece, front windshield if you want to fast forward through the video to cover other sections you can but i'm going to go into a little bit of detail and take my time up on the awning fabric on top of the slide out those keep rain wind dirt and debris off the slide out take a look at it that's the original awning fabric is in good condition because it looks like this rv was indoor stored uh, for a large percentage of its uh, life. All the upholstery and everything is original and in a really uh, mint condition. I'm gonna go inside in a few minutes and show it. Uh, it's an extremely clean motorhome. It has a, uh, a secure slide-out operating mechanism, cable drive slide-out mechanism. So it holds the slides uh, solid in any position uh, all the way in or all the way out or partially in or partially out they're unique and I mentioned this has a mega cargo storage compartment in the back here you got this giant cargo door there's some stuff in here uh, sewer hoses and tents and canopies and stuff like that that came with the RV which are present hookup equipment um, but this is a large enough that you can fit a, a full-size bicycle in there if you take the front tire off at like a 10 speed you could fit more than one bicycle in there i've done it before on one of these models so your bicycles will fit right inside the motorhome or if you have the folding bicycles even better you can buy folding bicycles even folding electric bicycles that are electric motors in them so you can huff and puff less all right bedroom slide out is supports bunk beds and so that's what these windows are, which are frameless windows. They give it a clean look on the outside with these frameless windows. You have your water heater with gas and electric power and your coach heater. Everything is working. This has been fully road tested. Uh, power triple uh, step for entry to easy access inside and out. You've got the Goodyear RV tires and the, because of the indoor storage, Tires are in really excellent condition. There's no cracking, uh, no immediate need to replace the tires. Um, and we personally drove, drove this on these tires over 1,500 miles. Now, as we go and we talk about the main power awning, it is height adjustable. These slots right here, so you can bring the awning down to a lower angle if you want, or leave it in the up position. Uh, it does have a metal shroud to protect it. I will shoot video up on the roof and show you the solar panel up on the roof, but it has a metal shroud to protect the awning. That metal shroud, when the awning is rolled in, it keeps the sun from breaking it down, so you don't have to worry about replacing the awning fabric anytime soon. Up on the front you have power aiming, heated mirrors, and side view cameras. These side view cameras help you uh, and they activate when the turn signals are activated. I'll go inside, I'll show you that. You got the projector, high performance headlights on here, so you have good headlights. You could, of course, replace 
your low beams with uh, LED bulbs if you wanted to. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive now. Um, but it's a very nice, clean motorhome. There's a lot of storage in here, including that mega storage compartment. Automatic leveling jacks, side view cameras, all these features, very, very nice. 5,000 pound towing package on the rear. A full hookup with the outside uh, shower and wash station. So you've got a locking gas cap cover so you can protect the 80 gallons of fuel that you can store on board. I recently paid a pretty good price. I paid $1.65 for gas. Uh, in Texas, it was everywhere at that price in the Dallas area. Unfortunately, due to this uh, pandemic that's been going on. Now, you can't, despite the pandemic, yes, you can come in person and see the RV, but you do need an appointment. You can only come in a group of less than 10 people. And you have to call for an appointment time. The same day, you can call me for a same day appointment um, as long as the RV is available. The video was shot in April 2020, so you want to check my website, mybestcar.com, and see if the RV is available. And we're going to go inside in a minute, look inside. First, before I do, I'm going to show you the power awning and its operation. Open the door, the power steps are fully operational. And right here is the awning switch next to the door. At the press of a button, we can roll up the power awning and it winds up under that metal shroud where it's protected from sunlight, so it will last a very long time. But uh, again, my website is mybestcar.com and you can check on there and see if this RV is still available and call me for an appointment to see it in person. Um, an appointment is required. Awning is rolling up. So we're going to go inside this Georgetown 351 2014. Take a look around the inside. See the features and colors it has. This is very clean motorhome. All original. Really nice. And we're going to get close up. We're going to show you. Um, there's a lot of storage in here. High to bed sofa. Swivel front three bucket front seats pull down uh, electric front shades day and night shades through the rest of the coach you have a dream dinette so it has a table vader that goes down like an elevator to lower into a sleeping position uh, main area television very large kitchen residential kitchen with full-size appliances and a gas oven, stainless steel double sink with sink covers, premium faucet, LED lighting throughout the coach, a gas oven, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, microwave oven, full-size residential refrigerator, as big as you can get for an RV. Bunk beds with TVs and DVD players in each bunk. And it's built-in ladder. This Georgetown model comes with a built-in ladder. Underneath the bed is the outside access mega storage compartment. You have a queen size bed in the back for the adults back here. And you have the second queen height of bed in the front, which we already talked about. Brand new, big 32 inch television built into the cabinetry here. It's a state of the art of Vizio television. A lot of storage in the bedroom. So you have wardrobe cabinets, pull out drawers. How many you got? You got eight pull out drawers. So you got socks, underpants, whatever else whatever else for his and hers and hanging clothes or maybe separate drawers socks and underpants for up to four different people right here but yet over the bed you have additional storage additional wardrobes beside the bed this is a shelved storage cabinet storage all the lights are these are led reading lights so you got reading lights behind the bed 
frameless windows on this coach. These overhead lights are LED, LED bulbs in all these overheads. That's over the air broadcast. This is picks up over 100 HD channels over the air. However, this coach also has satellite dome on top, auto aiming. So if you have direct TV or dish, you plug in the dish up in the front to the white cables. They're marked. The receiver will turn this on. It'll auto scan and find the satellite for you. It's up on the roof. Water heater, and this is gas or and or electric. So there's a, there's a second switch location. Don't forget, there's an electric switch. This is the gas switch, but there's an additional location for the electric switch, and it'll heat electrically and or gas at the same time, so it can take nice long hot showers. Arctic pack, to, so if you go where it's gonna go below freezing, you can turn on your Arctic pack, your water pump, your slide out switches, and your level test, empty, 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 full, got propane, this thing is ready to go. It's got water on board. So we're gonna take a look in the restroom. You've got a brand new shower head assembly. This is, these are awesome. They're oxygen infused. What does that mean? It has an aerator. So with using very little water, if you decide to dry camp or campground camp, or using very little hot water, so your water lasts forever, you have an oxygenated shower head, brand new. This has got a valve on off. But these are really nice because you can take, full, it feels like 90 PSI pressure coming out, um, but soft, and a, a lot of water, but you're actually using very little water. It's a very efficient shower head. Large restroom here, toilet, everything has been serviced on this, so it's campground ready. It's been professionally cleaned. Our housekeeper's gone through here and cleaned everything. All the fixtures and faucets, everything's like brand new in this coach. This is a really nice one. That's the old shower head. We'll even give you toilet paper. You don't have to go looking for toilet paper. Lately, they've been selling out for some reason. But uh, very nice bathroom and this is a glass enclosure. It has a magnetic catch here so water won't leak out. And a positive lock so it won't slide open when you're driving around and there's a place for linen right here towels or whatever you have shelves you have towel rack you know what's really good when you rv camp for your towels is you buy those those hangers that are a little short wooden bar with two clips on them and you hang your towels on those on something so they dry or you can hang your towels right over the edge clipped on here when you're rv camping and you have a lot of wet towels you can hang them up to dry very convenient that's a lesson learned that's a life hack for an rv operator now underneath the bunk bed you have additional storage drawers so your kids can keep their their gizmos or their coloring books or whatever in there but they are big bunk beds they're big enough to um fit adults you have your tv in here which has digital tuner built in and there's a dvd player in the side so that's actually playing a dvd right now so there's a little cubby in the bunk where they can keep their stuff in there when they go to bed and they have these curtains that they can close. And so that nobody gets hurt, the built right in here is your ladder to climb up to the top bunk to help the shorter ones up. Dual air conditioners. This is the front, the rear's in the bedroom. Big 32 inch TV in the front. Now, the previous owner mounted a slide mount on here, which is some of the RVs have. This one has it. It's on roller hinges, heavy-duty hinges, so that you can slide it open to try to watch the TV even if the slide is closed. They did add that. I don't know if the dealer added it or the owner made it up themselves, but it, it does seem to work. You've got a lot of additional storage right here. All the cabinets are clean. It's not nicked up. It's not chipped up. It's very, very clean. This is over the air broadcast. You have storage over the bed. I mean, over the Dream Dinette, which does turn into a bed. 
focusing on the dream dinette this turns into a bed this georgetown the dinette is awesome because you've got sturdy cushions mounted on hinges you slide them up like that a lot of rvs you have to take the cushion off and then there's a big old piece of plywood with splinters and you have to take that off not on the georgetown this is all fabric custom designed uh dinette booth here so you have storage underneath which is super easy to access almost i don't think of i can't think of any other make or model of rv that's so easy to access the storage under the dinette so look we've got a case of pepsi hiding under there that i bought and you can put your bottled water so even if man that's another thing that's been disappearing lately bottled water so you stash your bottle of water under there they'll never find it they might see your money but they don't want your money they want your bottle of water i don't get it they'll rob your rv just to get the bottle of water that's crazy but uh there you go you can if you get far enough out in the wilderness there won't be any people around it's just you and the bears and i don't think the bears will steal your bottle of water but you got a nice place to hide stuff under the dinette that's super easy to access or your pots and your pans and your cooking large items coffee makers will fit under there it's a lot of storage so i said this is a table vader all right so i'm getting down on my knees looking under the table there's a little bar here you release that push down and that goes down put these down Put your cushions in there and somebody could sleep here it's that quick and easy super easy to access up on this big sofa which is in excellent condition fabric is perfect on it the cushions come up and you have a pull out hide a bed sofa right there it makes right into a bed you got the swivel chairs right here some of this model has an optional bed that goes up here this one does not there's no bed over the front seats. Um, they're only a twin size on the Georgetown and they're only for 200 pounds if they did have it. So, and it's something to bang your head on. So if you're tall, you don't want the bed up here anyways. Well, we're looking at the front. I said all the seats, all the fabric are like excellent condition. We're gonna get real close up here. Take a good look at it. So I got my movie light on here so we could take a close look at the upholstery. I did say there's no cracking, no flaking. It's like brand new. It's really good condition. All of the seats, all the upholstery, soft and in really, really nice condition. That has been a problem on some of the newer RVs that the materials, because they're trying to be environmentally friendly with the materials they use, they're a little bit more susceptible to sunlight breaking them down. That's one of the reasons why the Georgetown gives you these full blackout curtains on the front. Instead of the pull around curtains that are take 15 minutes to put down and put away, these have these easy to use blackout curtains. And the front curtain is actually electric. So you just hit the switch on the dash here and they go up under power. So it's important to keep these closed when you're storing the RVs to keep the sun off your upholstery so it doesn't get messed up by the sun. And it looks like this one was probably actually had a cover over it or was kept inside. It's a really nice RV. We're gonna turn the key on, check the odometer reading. Your current odometer reading is 13,954 miles on the Ford V10. We do have backup camera it does have side view cameras so when we click the side view the we get a side view that's left side right side or with the off you have the backup camera view what's nice on this rv you have a separate stereo has an ice cold high performance uh, dash air conditioner in addition to the two air conditionings on the roof all these various switches i'm going to go over how many hours on the generator? The generator only has 311 hours on the generator. That's nothing. I've had I've seen these generators with 4,000 hours on them. 
So 300 hours is not even a tenth of that. It's These are long life generators. They're very good. It has been working perfectly. There are no problems with it. You can start the generator from the switch right here on the dashboard or stop it. Or if you push down and hold it, you can prime the fuel pump. If it hasn't run for a while, you may need to prime the fuel pump. Your dash fan switch, because you do have these dash defrost fans. Those are really helpful in the winter time. The if it's cold outside and it's warm inside, the windows could fog up and those help prevent that to boost the uh, defrost of the windshield, which is really nice. Radio enable or disable switch to run a house power or not. Power heated mirrors for aiming for left and right, your big towing mirrors. You've got an LED map light up there, high performance LED reading light. Can turn it on from either side here, but you have a second LED reading light up overhead, which you can roll this wheel, the Ford style headlight switch to turn it on or off. And Ford also offers you to view how many engine hours and this engine has 267 hours of use on the hour meter built in outside temperature 66 so it's not too hot right now this has a half tank of fuel and we have fully automatic leveling jacks we're inside the building so i can't run the engine but these leveling jacks are full auto so i there's also semi-auto so if you use auto that does it everything by itself as long as it's not too steep of a grade but if it's a steeper grade or for my preference i like to use manual leveling so i can manually turn this on and then run the i can run the jacks myself very easy and sometimes maybe you pull into a turnout and the rv is leaning to the right or left you maybe you only want to lower the jacks on one side just so we have a comfortable floor where you can uh, use it these little black things are cup holders on the sides both sides have it plus you have a mat pocket so if you have some kind of giant cup you can put it in your map pocket or uh, maps in your map pocket if you want and on the left side here we have fog lights uh jump start switch for battery icc flash this is nice so if you're backing out of a street you can blink all your clearance lights or you're driving on the highway at night and somebody wants to pass you, you can flash them to let them know when it's safe to merge over. Sometimes people want to merge too close, so that helps to let them know when you feel it's safe for them to merge in front of you. That's something that the big trucks have, and this one has it too, which is really nice. On the steering wheel, we have cruise control, which works really, really good and that's you have power points up here you have a subwoofer box down there for your dash stereo to have a subwoofer and the speakers are hidden around uh, another road hack i like to buy this little power inverter with a cord on it it plugs in a cigarette lighter and it sits down here and it has 110 power so you can power a laptop or charge your devices with 110 volt power without using your generator i plug one of those in all the time when i'm uh, camping or driving on my trips an important thing to mention when i'm up here before we leave the dash area this has tow haul mode so on the gear selector there's a little button here and you push that to turn on or off tow haul mode that is another life hack for driving one of these rvs when you're driving up a hill you may be empty you may have just you driving up the hill but when you come down the other side you're going to build up speed and by turning on tow haul mode as soon as you barely touch the brakes it'll automatically downshift the transmission you don't have to go like this with the transmission you just turn on tow haul mode when you're driving in the mountains or on there's a lot of mountains that you can fill in an rv that you don't notice in the car but when you're coming down a hill you turn on tow haul mode and you don't need to touch the brakes to slow down uh, just hit them a, a little bit the brakes will come on for a second but then it'll downshift the transmission to a lower gear to help you come down the hill this is one of the most valuable knowledge things that you need to know about with one of these motor motorhomes is using tow haul mode whenever you're in hills that saves you a lot of headache 
makes it super easy. Anyone can drive one of these RVs. And one of the secrets to that is using tow haul mode coming down hills. Very important. We're going to talk a little more about the kitchen. So you have a gas oven and you have a microwave. For some RV buyers, it's critical to have the gas oven, especially people who dry camp. Because in order to use the microwave, you need to be plugged in at a campground, which has a hookups for power, or you need to run the generator. You cannot use the onboard inverter for the microwave. It uses too much power. The refrigerator uses an onboard inverter. So if you go to the campground and you want to plug in your stereo outside, you do not need the uh, generator running. You have a power outlet on the campground side to plug right into the inverter, the same one that's powering the refrigerator. And you, the refrigerator runs on RV battery and you have an extra outlet to plug in your gadgets and gizmos and charge them outside in the campground area. But a gas oven lets you bake when you're not hooked up in dry camping. For my wife never uses it, but some people, some families use them a lot. And if you're one that decides that you need a gas oven, don't buy an RV without it. So this one, the Georgetown's top of the line, they give you the gas oven. Now I set these over here on the countertop just to show you it has them, but and plus I'm one handed, but there's an actual pocket in the back here. So you have the gas burners. I've lit two. I'm going to light one more. This is how you do it. You just turn it on, you spark, they light up, and you've got, you only need one, maybe two at the most, but it gives you three. My wife says, you never need three. But it has three. And they give you a spare. So they're all working as you just saw. And you light them, you cook, fry, whatever you want. But something else about this area is you have a glass backsplash here. This is glass back tile. This is not a sticker. This is actual glass backsplash tile like you might pay a, a contractor to put in your home. And they do that for you. Super easy to clean protects the wood from heat and from splashing around your cook area and of course it does have a vent fan right here built into the microwave stainless steel microwave very very nice and this one has bake feature so this is a convection microwave not just a regular microwave but it has apparently got convection heating maybe here I don't know it says bake microwave it might not be convection I'll look it up and you can call me and ask me about it I'm always available between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. to accept phone calls with questions if you're interested in buying this motorhome and if it's available these are bungee cords that you put across to prevent your refrigerator doors from opening when they're full of milk and water and whatever else you put in the doors that's heavy so when you go whipping over speed bumps and things like that it helps to keep the the doors closed now this refrigerator has an ice maker it's not connected to water right now the water is off to it i don't recommend using the microwave in a rv uh, i'm sorry the ice maker in an rv but if you know how to get it going, you can use it. But it's turned off right now because you don't want to drink the water in RV unless you know what you're doing with sanitizing the water system. You need to make sure that your system is sanitized. There's other people have videos about that. But don't drink the water in the RV unless it's been sanitized. So we have that off right now. Oh, look, more paper towels. You have storage in your kitchen that's your other sink cover is up here both sink covers your VIN number your weight data is right here your weight data certificate is right here and actually this has a cargo carrying capacity of 3,400 pounds which is a lot some RVs don't have that much weight capacity but this one can carry 3,400 which includes your occupants and your junk that you bring along i've seen some with like a very very low weight capacity but this is a very high weight capacity 
because it's on the heavy duty chassis. Let's go look at the labels over there. The last three digits of the VIN number are 296. And this is gross vehicle weight rating of 20,500 pound on this chassis. So, yep, you can haul all your goodies with it. It's a very nice motorhome. I forgot to mention the flooring. This has sweep it clean flooring. All you need is pretty much a broom and maybe a vacuum. I, I can include a vacuum if you ask for it. But uh, uh, I'll give you a vacuum if you ask for it. When you buy by calling me on the phone, that's one of the perks. If you're interested in buying the mo motorhome, call me on the phone, make a deal with me by phone versus email and ask me for throwing a vacuum and I can do that. There is one in here right now, but uh, usually we'll take those out unless somebody wants it. But there's a little bit of carpet, but mostly it's sweep it clean flooring all throughout the motorhome. So the sweep it clean flooring doesn't hold odors. There's no odors in here at all right now. It just smells like a nice clean RV. Very nice. Also, the countertops are genuine Corian solid sur surface uh, countertops. It's not that uh, cheap material. This is Corian uh, artificial granite countertop. I'm going to show you how to pull the bed out here. Super easy. Set the cushions to the side to hide a bed. This has been around for decades. You just lift and pull opens up grab the handle flip it over turns into a bed it's nice and clean there you go queen size bed for your guests now you don't want them to stay too long they won't put them on this bed the little kids they can go in the bunks. If you're the grandparents and you want the your kids who are grown-up kids, they can stay here, or one can stay here, one can stay there. You can. How many can sleep here? Let's count. One, two, three, maybe four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. Definitely two, four, six, seven or eight. But if you bring an inflatable mattress, you have enough room on the floor here for another person. So seven, maybe eight, maybe nine. If you push your crowding in here to a high level, you could fit nine in here on beds. But uh, a safe estimate is seven to sleep in here comfortably. And it doesn't take that long to set up. It's really nice. So I want to sum up the interior and go on to the, wrap up the video pretty soon here. The key word to remember with this motorhome, this is looking unused. There's almost zero wear and tear on this motorhome. So if you buy it, you'll forget it had a previous owner, but you're going to save a lot of money because you didn't pay the new price, but you got the almost brand new look and feel. So, an unused motorhome, this Georgetown 2014 351. Very, very clean. Since I'm saying that, we'll look again at the VIN number. Last three digits are 296, to be clear on which one we're talking about here. This is the fourth or fifth 351 2014 I've had. It's a great floor plan. I like bunk beds. And this one is so clean. 2020 we're up on the roof filming this Georgetown 351 that's your big solar array you have a solar power plant right on the roof to charge the 12 volt battery has a charging controller and it's a high efficiency panel up here with a serial number recorded it's installed on the RV and it'll maintain power in the RV so you can run the refrigerator even in dry camping situations that's very beneficial. Most of these don't have that. That's pretty cool. 
you have translucent uh, vent covers to let light into your restroom and kitchen but with these weatherproof vent covers you can keep the covers open even if it's raining snowing the wind is blowing you don't have to worry so much about water or debris or creatures coming in to your vents this one does have a pretty uh, new looking wine guard road trip uh, min max satellite dome built onto the rv with two cables a lot of the rv installers only put one cable but with two cables uh, you can use two tuners on a DVR or have two boxes, which is really nice. So you do have that road trip satellite dome. Of course, your radio antenna, your weatherproof uh, solar blocking metal cover to protect your main awning. And the slide out awning, both of them are in good condition. They don't need any service. There's no sign of need needing service at this time up on the roof dual roof air conditioners high high efficiency Dometic AC units and all the rubber seals and everything are in good shape because it looks like this RV was indoor stored and it looked like they've been serviced too so it's a nice thick coating sealing up the roof up here so no signs of a uh, pot any water leaks anytime soon not likely looks good let's wrap it up with a video of the roof so I'm briefly going to put the camera underneath here under the Georgetown 351 to show you the underside and we're going to wrap up the video looking around. Let me get the camera in the right angle. As I walk around and you can take a look underneath and look at the tire treads, see how it looks. Check as we go around quickly. Look under the engine. Okay, if you have questions or you want to set an appointment to see this RV, if it's available, you can give me a call. Set an appointment by phone. That's the easiest and fastest way. Call me at 951-681-2101. That's a landline phone number. Don't text me at that number because it won't go through. But you can give me a phone call and I accept calls between 9 a.m and 7 p.m. seven days a week as long as I'm available. I have a high availability by phone. If you want to contact me by email, that is okay. But I respond to emails when I have time and it's usually in the evening. So if you want to come the same day and you email me, you probably won't get a reply until the evening and it'll be too late. So the best form of contact is by phone. 951-681-2101, thank you. So thanks one more time for watching my video. My name is Mike Johnson, and this video was shot April 2020.